and welcome. My name is Summer Day and I'm going to be your yoga teacher for today's practice where we are moving through a beginner flow. Now, a few weeks ago, I put out a beginner balance flow and it took off and you guys really liked it. So this week we are going to be practicing our balance again. We're going to be learning how to transition from a warrior three, which is sort of like a flying balance pose and stepping back into a crescent lunge because this can be quite daunting when you are new to yoga. So we're gonna uh, practice this together, but before we move into our balance, let's just warm up our body, stretch out and have a little bit of fun. So coming to a comfortable seated position, allow your shoulders to fall away from your ears, relax through the front of your hips, relax through your belly, your hands come to the tops of your knees, you might even shake through your shoulders, your torso a little, sitting up nice and tall, and just closing down your eyes here or dropping your gaze down towards your ankles, down towards your mat. Taking just a moment to arrive here. So removing yourself from your day that you've had so far. And just falling into this space. And wherever your thoughts are at the moment, just leaving them there and drawing your awareness to your breath. So just feeling your inhale and your exhale. Letting it just move through your body slowly. And from here, we're just gonna come into some free movements. And what I mean by this is you might roll through your neck, wiggle through your spine, twist, you might even move through some seated cats and cows, really just feeling into your body. And at first it might feel a little bit funny, you might bring a smile to your face, but really just checking in here, notice what you need. And we begin to sink our breath to our movement. So there's no wrong or right here, We're just flowing freely, just for a few more breaths, Maybe it feels really good just to pause and breathe. Beautiful, and on your next inhale, bring yourself to center. Gently flutter your eyes open, inhale, sweep your arms up, reach and lengthen. As you exhale, twist over to your right, your gaze comes behind you. Lifting up through your chest, breathe in. As you breathe out, your right hand comes beside as you sweep your left arm up, a side body stretch. Inhale here, exhale, dip down a little lower. Inhale to center, exhale, twist over to the left. Gaze rolls behind you. Slowly bringing your left hand by your side. Inhale, sweep your right arm up and over. So breathing into that right side body. As you exhale deep and into the stretch. Inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, take your arms behind you. Clasp your fingers together and roll your shoulders back and down. If it's comfortable, lift your gaze up to the ceiling. So really feeling that space come across your chest around your shoulders. Breathe in. As you breathe out, release, roll over into your tabletop. So your hands come underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. Exhale, roll through your spine, press the floor away. Inhale to your cow. Exhale. Exhale to your cat. Now begin to move with your breath like we did right at the start. Free movements here. I invite you to close down your eyes and just exploring your body. What do you need today? Is it a big pause in your cat stretch? Is it shifting back to a child's pose? Really making this practice yours. Nice work.
Now, when you're ready, we meet in a downward facing dog. So tuck your toes, lift your hips, continue this free movement, pedal through your heels, spread through your fingers, wake up your body. Now we're going to roll through our vinyasa, but it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna come into an active child's pose. We'll do it really slowly the first round, but we'll do three in total. So just coming to stillness now in your downward facing dog. As you inhale, roll forward, high plank. Take your time to arrive. There's no rush. Now you either stay lifted or you can drop your knees down to your mat. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lower down, Chaturanga. I want you to hug your elbows close to your body, all the way down, nice. Hands are underneath your shoulders. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, shift your hips back an active child's pose. So your forehead comes down to the mat and I want your toes tucked so you get this lovely stretch through the soles of your feet. Reach your arms long. Exhale here, inhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, we've got two more like this. Inhale, roll forward, high plank, take your time. Now pause as you arrive, drop your knees if you need, take a breath in. Exhale, lower down Chaturanga, take your time. Suck your elbows in, nice work. Inhale Cobra, shoulders roll back and down, soft bend in your elbows. Exhale, active child's pose, tuck your toes, send your hips back, reach and lengthen through your arms. So maybe your forehead comes down to the mat and then walk your fingertips further away. Feel that really long stretch down your arms, your side body into your hips. Your next inhale draws you up downward facing dog. Beautiful, one more like this. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, lower down chaturanga. Slow, 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 slow. Inhale, Cobra. Really lift up through your heart. Shine it out into the day. As you exhale, active child's pose. Tuck those toes, send your weight back. Beautiful. We take a deep breath in and a releasing breath out. Inhale, downward facing dog. From your down dog, taking tiny little steps all the way to your rag doll at the top of your mat. A nice big bend in your knees. Wrap your hands around your elbows and just sway from side to side. Really allowing the weight of the world to just drip off your body here. Shake it out, big deep breath. Can you let go through your shoulders, neck and head? Releasing your arms down towards your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, look forward. Exhale, fold. Now as slowly as you can, roll all the way up to standing. Your shoulders roll back and down. You sweep your arms up, reach and lengthen. And as you exhale, your hands drop down into your heart center, nice. And just begin to rock forwards and backwards on your feet. Now, when it comes to balance, I love really grounding down through my mat. So finding the four corners of your feet, come into stillness, press your toes down and draw up through your body. Allow your shoulders to roll back and down. Your hands are shining out towards the day. And now set your gaze. This is your drishti in yoga. So set your drishti. And I just want you to play with rocking over to your left leg, drawing your right knee to center. Pressing your right foot down. Shifting your weight over, left knee comes to center, nice. Let's do that again. So you're just gonna to shift to your left foot, bring your right knee into center, and then you're gonna press your right foot down, your left knee comes into center. Too easy, coming back to standing. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. 
inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, your right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, open your hip. So just finding some space here. It might feel quite nice to roll through your ankles, spread through your toes. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, sweep it all the way through. We're moving into our crescent lunge. So ground down through your feet. Set your stance, begin to grow. Reach your arms tall. Now you should feel this beautiful stretch running down the left hip. Your arms are long, even your fingertips, beautiful. Inhale here. As you exhale, slowly drop your back knee down to your mat. Untuck your toe, your left hand finds your mat. Easy twist. Maybe you're a little shaky there, that's okay. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. So when we come into a balance, it's really normal to feel shaky. You might fall out and that's okay. That's you just challenging yourself. Inhale, your left leg comes up, three-legged dog, bend your knee, open your hip. You might roll through your ankles, spread through your toes here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sweep it through into your crescent lunge. So I want you to ground down through your feet first, then begin to grow. Reach through your arms, feel that stretch, run through the front of your right hip. Can you lengthen your fingertips a little longer to touch the ceiling? Inhale here, exhale, slowly drop your back knee, untuck your toes, your right hand finds the floor, easy twist. And just adjust yourself if your body doesn't feel in a comfortable position. That's okay to move. Inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Taking tiny little steps all the way to the top of your mat. Arrive in your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, hands come down, heart center. Now we've played with our crescent lunge. Let's play around with our warrior three. So setting your stance, standing nice and tall, set your gaze. Bring your hands to your heart center, shifting your body weight to your left foot. As you breathe in, welcome your right knee into your chest. Now stand tall here. Notice those little shakes and wobbles, that's okay. Breathe in. As you breathe out, send your right leg back. This is our warrior three. Now you're gonna lengthen your right leg. If this is too much, just bring your right big toe down to the mat and play around with slowly lifting it off the floor. If you're here floating with me, I find flexing my foot really activates my glutes and stabilizes my core. Now I want you to imagine you're lifting up through your chest here. Hands just stay at your heart. Breathe in. As you breathe out, bring your right knee back to your chest. Float it down, shake it out. Well done. We'll come to the other side. So you're gonna ground down through your feet, shift your body weight over to the right. Now set your gaze, this is so important. Hands at your heart center, breathe in, your left knee comes into your chest. And you might notice that this side, you're already more stable. We always have a side that's a little bit stronger. Now breathe in as you breathe out warrior three. Find your warrior three. So you might be up here floating with me. We might be playing around with just lifting your big toe off the mat. Now if you're with me, you can play around with pointing and flexing through your foot, lifting through your chest. Hopefully, whoa, look, I'm flying. <laughs> Hopefully you're breathing here. Let's take one more deep breath in. As you breathe out, left knee into your chest and drop it down, shake it out. Well done. Okay, we're gonna link the two together now. So moving from our warrior three into our crescent lunge. So standing nice and tall, inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, your hands drop down, heart center. Shift your body weight over into your left leg. 
When you're ready, your right knee comes into your chest. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior three. So finding your warrior, ground down through your left foot. Hands just stay at heart center. Inhale, as you exhale, bend through your left knee, slowly drop your right foot to the mat, reach your arms up, crescent lunge. Good job, everyone. Breathe in. As you breathe out, cartwheel your hands down, step back, downward facing dog, a big pedal of your heels, and then tiny steps all the way back to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. As you exhale, your hands come down to your heart center. Set your gaze, shift your body weight over to the right hand side. Inhale, lift your left knee up. Settle down, soften through your shoulders. Come back to your breath. Breathe in as you breathe out warrior three on this side. So find your warrior. If you fall out, I just want you to bring yourself back to where you were. Inhale here, soften through your front knee. As you exhale, step back into your crescent lunge, reach through your arms, begin to grow. Well done. Cartwheel your hands down, step back down when facing dog. Big pedal of the heels, dropping your knees down, child's pose. Let's take five deep breaths here. And maybe as you just soften in your child's pose, you just bring a little smile to your face. Well done, having a little play on your mat, challenging yourself. And now letting everything go. Beautiful. Now the option is just to stay here for a few more breaths in your child's pose. So we're going to play with our melted heart pose. So lift your gaze, shift your hips above your knees, walk your hands mat width apart and soften your heart and then your forehead down to your mat. So a deep opening through your shoulders and now soften through your belly so much so, it's like your belly wants to drop down to the mat. So this is our melted heart pose, also known as a puppy pose. So big deep breaths here. Really slowing down. Now begin to press your hands into your mat, lift your gaze, walk your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees come underneath your hips. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. Exhale, roll through your spine, press the floor away. Let's do two more. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. From here, bringing your knees to touch, sit on your heels. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you here, just coming to a comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting nice and tall. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And as you exhale, your hands drop down into your heart center, closing down your eyes if that's comfortable here. And we'll seal today's practice with a deep breath in and a clearing breath out. And taking a little bow and just when you're ready, opening up your eyes, giving yourself a nice big cuddle. Well done, everybody. 
good job on you know challenging yourself and moving through a balance practice it isn't my favorite thing either but it is so important not only now but later in life so it's good that we're practicing it now if you do enjoy these practices please let me know by liking and commenting subscribing to my channel and sharing with others thank you so much i will see you next time bye guys Mwah.